Okay, we were just talking about gritting this photograph. So I used white chalk to go for the vertical and horizontal lines. And then we talked about the focus in each of those cross sections. So I have gridded this little canvas. And now the fun starts. You get to paint. So I'm thinking that this image has a lot of yellow. So I'm going to start out. Oh, oh, I'm about to forget to sketch. Whoa, whoa. Sketch the image with the chalk. So, so let me see here. Let me be looking at this and this. This is helpful. So I want these lines to match each segment. So for some reason, I like to start right at the top of the head. I'll put a little mark there. I see his mouth is right down here and it goes across this line. So I think we'll give that little curve there. And then I'm gonna look at his ears. So he's got this right ear that comes all the way over here and down and around. And his left ear. And I see his two eyes just about in both of these cross pieces. So this is gonna be the focus. And it's kind of funny because he's almost kind of a square looking eye right there. It's okay. Okay, now let's get his nose in. Let's connect his head to this shape. And that's another thing we want to be sure to look for shapes. So we'll just bring the head around here. And then down here. And then around here. And his mouth is way over there because he's eating a lot of hay. <laughs> oh, again. He loves hay. <laughs> Have you ever seen a cow that wasn't eating? So, and then I'm going to start back over here. So I'm in this quadrant. So I'm going to start here and come down and around here. And then I'm just looking at the image to see if I've got things pretty much lined up like I want. Now I want to extend his body shape to come down on this ear and then on this side. And I'm going to bring this down right here. Okay. So his nose is in this section here. So I'm going to just bring that back around. And his nostrils. Hey, Sapphire, you're coming to life now. And let's, oh, let's get Sapphire's mouth in there. And of course, it's open. And it's got some straw in it. So we'll add that straw later. But I think, oh, let me finish this side of his head. And he's, oh, he's got some hair sticking up here. And while I'm thinking about this, I'm looking at the colors and the values. So I see the wider sections are here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Under his ears, because the sun is coming straight down, you see darker shadows here, and it's a little darker under here. So at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and erase some of my chalk marks because I'm gonna be putting paint here. And I, I'm, I feel like I've pretty much got Sapphire where I want her. Okay. So who could tell that we use that to figure out where to put this cow? All right, so I think we're ready for the paint now. So as I mentioned, we're gonna start with yellow. A little yellow up here. I'm gonna leave this space at the top for the white. Come back around here. And you know how cow's eyes kind of bulge out on top, so it creates a little bit of a shadow underneath them. So you see where it's a little darker there. So we'll bring those colors in later. Okay, so more yellow. Maybe mix a little white in with that. Now I'm going to try to leave this space a little bit open for more a whitish tone there. And other eye here. Sapphire is always so content just to be in that 
pasture eating away. There's something so endearing about cows. They make us calm, don't they? Okay, and you can see how I'm sort of blending the yellow and a little bit of a brownish color here. Okay, and then as you work on your canvas, it's good to kind of work all around your canvas so that you have colors that are, is it, it gives it a harmonious feel. I'm gonna add a little bit of orange in there. We're getting a pretty good base coat on now. Okay, and acrylic paints dry very quickly, which is so nice because you can just kind of keep going. But I want this base coat on. We'll get that here. Now, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna Put a little white with a little darker color. Mix these up a little bit. Whoops, I got a little bit too red. Let's put, let's put that red over here. How we doing, Sapphire? We doing okay? <laughs> All right, let's go on. Let's go back to this white with a little bit of color in there. Okay, so we know that there's a nice white section on Sapphire's nose. So I'm just gonna kind of go around here and blend it in with the yellow. Yeah, and she's got white up here too. Sapphire is about 19 years old. That's really old for a cow. But isn't she a love? Okay. Now I'm going to put a little pink in the picture. I'm going to make the nose and the bottom of the mouth and then the ears a little pink. So let's see here. So I've got two shades of red here. I'm going to just use a little bit of that. And white. Okay. All right. Okay, Seth, so let's do the ears first. It's a place that we all have a little pink in our ears. And we have some kind of under the eye. And then we have it around here, around the nose. And we'll come back and put the nostrils in in a minute. And you can see the nose is a little bit darker at the bottom because as the light comes down here, you wouldn't see the bottom of the nose as bright. So, so I can make that. I'm just adding a little bit of purple to that so it gives it a little bit of a darker shade. to just kind of work around the canvas with a little bit more color. Is anybody saying how now brown cow yet? <laughs> or how now, how now yellow cow? Okay. Now I have just a white background in this picture, but when you finish your picture, if you would like to put blue or whatever background color, that's up to you. Okay, I think I'm just gonna work around a little bit more and then I'm gonna put the eyes in and the nostrils. So we'll just define this a little bit more.
There's that little bit of a dark shadow under there. nice to have some contrast, some real darks next to the lights. Okay. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that and go with a little bit smaller brush and put the, put the eyes in. And I'm just going to use this dark purple. And I'm, I'm looking to see where this is in relationship to the ear. So it's about, looks like it's in about the right, sh right spot. Okay, and then this eye, as we said, is a little bit square. But it just kind of looks that way. I'm sure it's round. <laughs> okay. darker under here. Okay, now let's look at the nostrils. I think they just make a little curly cue here. And here. And you mix a little bit of that purple with the yellow. Oh, and let's add a little more red. I just want to blend these colors a little more. Don't you wish we all could have a cow in our backyard? <laughs> it's a little dark on the top of the ear where the head comes down here. So you can just keep working in your, on your canvas, blending these colors in. And you'll probably notice this little white spot on Sapphire's eye. That's a, that's a little highlight. Let's see if that's almost dry enough to Aha! Now, Sapphire, I can see you. And a little one there. One's a little more pronounced than the other one. Okay. We're going to just kind of outline that a little bit. And make the nose a little bit pinker. A little darker under here. Now, while we've got a little color on this brush, it's time for us just to give a little hair on Sapphire's ears. They always have just a little hair hanging down there. And sometimes they have a little hair here or on her chins. And don't forget up here. 
I think that my picture could use a little bit more orange. And you can always have fun with the rag, just kind of blending your colors a little if you like. So I think Sapphire is pretty close to being finished. We can just make a little bit more of an outline, maybe around here. Whoops, look at that, it's just dripping right down. Sometimes Sapphire has a bad hair day, <gasps> but don't we all? <laughs> oh, I'm about to forget the hay. Goodness, what would Sapphire be without some straw in her mouth? But I need to fix something a little messy here. Let me just get under here. A little bit better. Okay. There. All right, Sapphire. Let's give you a little bit more definition on this, your nostrils. And the mouth is a little bit wide open. Okay. This is a little bit wetter than I would normally have, but I'm going to go ahead and mix a little bit of an ochre color, some yellow and white for the straw, for the hay. And you know, it just kind of goes all which way, so... I think I'll just start right here. It's in her mouth. And a piece seems to be going up here. And all, oh my gosh, it went way up there. Look at that. And a little over here. And the hair sort of goes down from the center here, so. All right, Sapphire. I'm about to let you go back to the pasture and finish eating. It's a little bit better down here. And it's always good when you finish a painting leave it and then come back the next morning and take a look and say hmm maybe I want a little more dark color here or light color there or whatever comes to mind but I think that she is about finished let me just wipe away these marks up here The chalk marks will just come right off, right off. Now I've left the back, oh, that's a pencil mark. Oh, that's why it's not coming off. You can just go back over that with some of your white paint. And, or if you decide to put a blue sky back there, you can do whatever you like. This one just has a white background. Just 
a little bit darker under here. Now, the videographer who is filming this is getting ready to take a trip to see her grandson. And she's gonna be watching this little 10-month-old grandson. So I think she should make up a very good story about Sapphire and take this picture with her. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us again today. See you next time.